Pierre Malinoff. Уважаеми колеги, Colleagues, in line with the cliches that we often use when speaking of youth, we often say that the future is uh, for the young people, and this future looks uh, usually much wiser because it carries the wisdom that the present apparently does not yet belong to young people, and indeed it doesn't. Many of the decisions that we take nowadays define young people's future, and they are not part of that decision-making process. I think one of the uh, main advantages of this report is that it did indeed take into account the voice of young people, many, many voices, many organizations within the European Union. I think we should be honest about this. I think we should be honest to young people and tell them openly. Many of the key policies that concern your future, basically many of the youth policies related to education, the new forms of education, everything that has to do with uh, fighting youth unemployment, all of that is actually up to your national governments. It's not something that we can do much about at the level of the European Union. What we can do is raise the bar and set high standards. But please do not allow your governments to ignore these standards. Do not let them um, ignore the bars that we set. Hopefully, many governments will uh, jump over this high bar that we set. Thank you for your attention. S and D group. One minute, Mrs. Costa. <clears throat> Thank you, um, President, Commissioner. I think that today, if we can say one thing 